Good afternoon. My name, my name is the Girsh. I lived in a time somewhere in the future, and I want to send you a memory. I'd like you all to touch somebody, just touch my hand, and then somebody else can touch their hands. Can somebody touch my hands? And can you connect with somebody else? and touch their hands and everybody have a touching connection to me somehow and I want you to close your eyes breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out let your mind go to a beach in Mexico, in the sand is very hot on the on your on your feet. It's very hot sand, and you oh you have to kind of dance a little bit, and you think you should go to the water where the water is nice and cool on your feet. So you go there. You're with Susan and Bob, and Susan and Bob uh, are would like to run down the beach and you think, oh good, run down the beach, I can run and swim and so you go to a river, you come to a river, are your eyes closed? Make sure they're closed. And then you're at the edge of the river who is flowing out into the ocean and you decide oh, I should be uh, like Tarzan, I'm going to swim in the water and swim across the stream and then come out the other side. And so you jump in and Bob, what a wind, Pete's not going to go in. But Susan comes with you and you start to go swimming down the river or, or across the river. But funny, because as you are swimming, you notice that you are also flowing out with the stream into the ocean. It is, the river doesn't stop. It goes and keeps going out into the ocean. And all of a sudden, Susan, she has trouble with swimming. She is coughing. She is slapping her hands. Oh, no, we are floating out into the ocean. And Susan is coughing. And oh, no. Oh no, do you see, do you see ahead those fins? Oh, coming out of the water, oh, your toes are curling, your hands are tense. You say to Susan, please, Susan, let's turn, turn around, we, uh, we, we, we get a um, shark coming. Susan coughs and sputters, oh, what is happening? You are afraid now that she is going to panic and you are not going to be able to swim across. You say, no, no, it's nothing. You just let's swim back. And so Susan, she takes a couple breaths and, and you start to slowly to try and swim to the side somewhere, back to where you came from, but you're way out into the ocean. You get out and all of a sudden you feel the claws chomp on your foot in panic everything makes you freeze and you don't know what you're doing oh watch out watch out what happened you turn around it's susan she was grabbing onto your foot thank goodness it was not a shark well susan is coughing and sputtering she doesn't know if she can make it you have her rest on your back for a, a while. Little by little, you inch your way. You think maybe you see some breakers, some waves breaking far away, and think that maybe you can get there. Oh, yes, oh, maybe you can get there. I don't know if you will. Oh, all of a sudden, you hit sand. 
Oh, blessed sand. What happened? Why is this so shallow, way, way out in the ocean? We look around. It must be where the bank, the sand bank was. Oh, he thinks, now you can walk in. Susan is right there. And it's a lot more calm. People are yelling at you. Come in, come in. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. And so you walk down the sandbar in and you have a more relaxing day and you're safe back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now you may open your eyes and let go. You see, I tell you this story because, well, for many of you in the future, you do not know about danger. You do not know about cold water. Everything is controlled for you. You see, I, it is my job to communicate information to just one person. They are the receiver. And now, well, no, I don't know what's going to happen. Please, I hope you can read about it in my book. 